For every economy, exchange rate is of keen interest as it forms part of the top economic indicators determining the strength or weakness of the economy. Ghana has for several years battled with depreciation of its local currency with a record of an all-time high depreciation of up to 30% in 2022. However, Vice President and flag bearer of the ruling New Patriotic Party, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, says the depreciation of the city under the NPP's government is lower than what they inherited. In January 2009, one dollar was being traded for one CD 28 pesos. As at 2017, when the NPP took over from the NDC, a dollar cost four CDs 27 pesos, representing about 233.59 percent change. From January 2017 till date, the city has seen some more depreciation, now trading at 12 cities 36 pesos for a dollar, a percentage change of about 889.46 percent, lower than what we saw in 2017 if you compare the statistics. What does this mean to the Ghanaian trader? Assuming a trader's working capital was 1 million cities in January 2009, that was equivalent to over $700,000. By January 2017, the 1 million CDs capital had reduced to over $200,000. However, the 1 million CDs capital is now $80,906, over $700,000 lost to depreciation. Um, in as much as we are not happy with the currency depreciations, um, we live in a developing country where uh, we we'll still record some depreciations, and what we have to guard against is excessive depreciation like the one we recorded in 2022 but otherwise um, on the whole i think the currency has been relatively uh, stable but professor gachi believes otherwise he every business person knows that the cost pressure that depreciation has occasioned on their activities is much more pronounced from 2017 to to date than uh what we were experiencing in 2016. the effect on that on uh, on business uh, activities and costs and even price development is not about the rate of depreciation that uh, dr baumia is talking about and what do traders those directly affected by the city's depreciation think are they better off now than before Business assets now isn't encouraging. You know, I would say that I was far better off during the NDC era because we were able to import in volumes. Now our importations is not like before. We have to bring them in bits. It's uh, uh, the, the whole year I could at least uh, maybe bring about uh, 10 containers. Yes, uh, but currently uh, <laughs> we need more CDs to get fewer dollars compared to the, the previous. Well, like I said earlier on, you need just 42000 to get about $10,000. But now you need this, to get the same $10,000, you need about 126000 So in real terms, it's not helping businesses.